Today, we will review the trading view widgets and how they can be integrated in finance boards. If you go to the trading view website, you can see the widgets that they provide. Currently, there are three widgets here, advanced real time charting is one, the market overview is a second, and further down, you'll see the symbol overview widget. And this is the example code to be embedded. So let's go back to finance boards and let's go to widgets and then click create new widget. The widget name, just any name, let's call it TV for trading view, stock. Let's call it a technical analysis. The description. Let's use this as our description. Symbol overview widget from tradingview.com. And then the configuration page is here. Since this is an iframe widget, we need to specify the script to be loaded. In this case, this is the script here. So we copy and paste it. With this, the code is loaded. And now we need to, in this area, display the widget itself. So let's create the markup and use the code completion features. Basically, it's an iframe container. So here's the iframe container. Now let's specify which widget. The symbol, the source for the data will be the ticker. And here it is. So the widget is connected now. And in our widget, we can specify the stock. And the chart is updated. We can resize the widget to display the full size chart. So now let's look at the possible customizations here. So we can, for example, specify the period. Then we'll say period, let's say one month. And here we can see that the widget has been redrawn. We can specify other things. Locale, just the language, and select Spanish. So already the widget has been localized for multiple languages. And then we can also specify the symbols, like a static array of symbols to be loaded. So now you can see that there are three tabs with different widgets. We'll remove the symbols so we can keep it tied to the to just the stock selected here. And with this, we're going to save the widget. Great. So now let's create a new one. That will be the market overview. Creating view, market. And go back to the page. Market overview, widget. Configuration, same thing. Let's get the JavaScript file. And then same thing, we'll remove here the We need another iframe container. And now we select trading view market. And here it is now. It's connected. Default, those are the parameters. Let's see what other parameters we have. We have local, no graph, 
This will remove the grass. Let's take it out though. Leave the tabs. So for example, we can customize the tabs. Then we can specify specific tabs. Do equity equals And here it is. Footer credit. You can say here trading view rocks. Great, so we'll say this is one as well. And let's create a third widget, which will be the advanced charting widget. Advanced real time chart. Trading view advanced. Description. Again, the configuration, which we'll get in the exact same place as we got all the others here. And then again, same thing. We'll need to remove the content. And then div class equals again an iframe container. And then trading view. And the source will be the selected ticker. And then here we have it. Beautiful widget. Again, we can, we can change the ticker. This widget has quite a few additional parameters. So we can say details. And it'll display some details in that tab. And calendar, enable publishing, hiding the top or side toolbars. So we can select one of those. And we can see the effect. So that's news. And then we can choose from stock tweets, headlines, or a combination of both. And here we have the news. Additionally, we can select the interval, studies, which are the charting indicators, the theme, we get black or blue or gray, we'll do blue. Actually, let's, let's hide the sidebar as well. Side toolbar. There is um, there are additionally trading view style options. Basically, the different ways to draw the charts. Whether they're area charts or and then the studies are the indicators that we're that we can that we want to overlay over the chart. So footer credits. We can completely remove this part. So that way the widget will occupy the full source. And here it is. So now let's go to our dashboard. 
and search for our trading view widgets. We can add them. We can save the dashboard. And here they are. If we decide we want to move, let's say this one towards the top, we can we can do that. So we can move it here. Again, we can save the dashboard. We can we can resize the widgets. Perfect. So now we're saving our dashboard every time. And when we refresh the page, the widgets are right there. This was for the integration of finance boards with TradingView. Thank you for watching.